Hello, welcome back to See It With Phil. Uh, today we have a Grand Suites one bedroom on Symphony of the Seas. This is cabin 12650. It is towards the aft of the ship uh, on the starboard side. I'm just gonna take you outside here to show you the door real quick. So we got a uh, doorbell out here. See where the uh, elevator is down there where it says lobby. So, on your entrance here, you have a small countertop right by the door. A couple large drawers here for storage. And on the top, you've got your safe. Now, this is by far the biggest safe I've seen on a Royal Caribbean ship. You, you can definitely fit a uh, good sized laptop in here. So, that's always a plus. So one thing I'm not too sure of why they do this in any of these rooms, they, they glue all these decorations to the countertops. Same thing over here. Uh, they just take up space. I don't know why they do that. It's not a really good design choice, but it is what it is. There's at least a decent amount of uh, countertop space in here. So got a, uh, Closet here in the entryway. A couple rubs. Some shelf space up top. More shelf space in the back corner there. Um, one thing I'm going to note about this this is, is the only closet in this room. So there's actually no closet over in the bedroom, which is kind of odd. Uh, so you got another counter here, you got your Lavazza coffee maker. A couple glasses, a shelf there with some flower decorations. Down here you got your mini fridge. A couple small shelves down there. On this side you've got your bathroom. Remember stats right by the door there. Nice updated shower. You can see the whole space here. Plenty of room to move around in this bathroom. Got dual sinks here. One thing I do not like, it's not a huge deal. Uh, this shower door thing it does swing open, which is fine, but there is no way to cover this side of the shower. And also, there is no seal along this bottom edge or between the uh, the door and the panel here where the hinges are. So when you're taking a shower, you actually get water. You can actually see some from the shower I took this morning. Drips down this side of the shower here. Luckily, most of it gets in the drain. Sometimes it'll run along the, the edge here, though. So just be aware of that. You got a little bit of storage behind the mirrors here. It's not very deep, as you can tell here. Same thing on this side. Two drawers down here. And some cabinet space. And a toilet area. Nothing fancy there. So on your uh, living area, you've got two chairs, a sofa, coffee table, a couple of lamps on tables. Uh, in this folder, you've got uh, all the uh, amenities that come with this cabin. A um, couple things I will note are like the uh, you have concierge service, so you can go into the suite lounge have the concierge to help you out. Uh, you have the suite sun deck on deck 17, which is a private area for suite guests only. And uh, you can eat at the Coastal Kitchen any time of the day. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, 
some of the nice things that are included. So you've got a good size TV here. There are a couple uh, outlets under there if you want those. 120. And yep, there's one more on this side over here as well. So then you have your bedroom space that's separated. There's a curtain on this doorway here, as well as this doorway right here. You can separate this into two different spaces. Got your bed. This side you've got uh, two 120 outlets. Got your phone. There's a uh, USB on that as well. Small drawer and the nightstands. A little bit of space underneath. A couple lamps. Actually, almost all the uh, lights in this cabin have these switches where you, you press it in. It also has the knob so you can adjust the brightness. Actually, I'll show you these right here. So here's all the, the main controls. It's very hard to get used to which one is which because they're all in this one spot for the whole cabin, which I don't like, but I guess if you're here long enough, you kind of get used to it. So you've got your vanity over here. A little bit of space back there. Some sh shelves down here. You've got more drawers store your clothes that aren't hanging so as I said there is no closet in this area so you have to walk all the way to the front entryway there uh, I've got two 120 outlets here the 230 and a light for the vanity I do have a couple small drawers underneath the tabletop there this room actually does come with this jewelry box I wasn't sure if the uh, previous uh, guests had left that because it kind of looks out of place in here, but the state retirement said it comes with it, so. Uh, it's more shelf space up here. Same drawers as the other side. Do you have another TV in this, in the bedroom as well? Right there. Two chairs, table there. And two loungers and a uh, short table with your footrest on this side. So this is uh, about about twice as wide as a uh, standard ocean view balcony. And your view off the back here, you're you're right on the edge of this hump here, so you can actually look out the back fairly well. As you can see where the uh, rail turns right here. really nosy you can actually see the uh, balcony of the suite next door which is I can't remember the name of it I'll have to uh, look it up I'll put it in the uh, description but very nice uh, balcony next door with the hot tub bar up there along the guest table up there so just a sneak peek at that balcony next door all right that'll do it thanks for watching guys take care